Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about episcleritis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. What is episclera? Episclera is the outermost layer of the sclera. It is composed of loose fibrous elastic tissue and it attaches to t nons capsule. It is, to make it simpler, it is a thin layer of tissue that lies between the conjunctiva and sclera. Episcleritis is benign recurrent inflammation of the episclera involving the overlying t nons capsule but not the underlying sclera. Now let us see about the etiology of episcleritis. Most of the cases of episcleritis are idiopathic, that is their cause is unknown. Episcleritis can also be due to systemic diseases like gout, rosacea, psoriasis and connective tissue diseases. It can be due to hypersensitivity reaction to endogenous tubercular or streptococcal toxins. Episcleritis can be infectious episcleritis due to herpes zoster virus, syphilis, Lyme disease and tuberculosis. Now let us see about the pathology of episcleritis. In episcleritis, three important things occur. There is localized lymphocytic infiltration of episcleral tissue. There is associated edema. There is congestion of overlying t nons capsule and conjunctiva. What are the types of episcleritis? There are two types of episcleritis. They are simple episcleritis and nodular episcleritis. Simple episcleritis is a sectorial inflammation of episclera. It can occasionally be diffuse. In nodular episcleritis, a pink or purple flat nodule is seen surrounded by injection. Usually the nodule is situated 2 to 3 mm away from the limbus. The nodule is firm, tender, it can be moved separately from the sclera. The overlying conjunctiva also moves freely. What are the symptoms of episcleritis? The patient complains of redness and mild ocular discomfort. He complains that he has gritty, burning or foreign body sensation in the affected eye. Mild photophobia and lacrimation can also be reported in some cases. This is how a patient with episcleritis presents to you. Now let us see about the clinical course of episcleritis. Episcleritis usually resolves spontaneously after 10 days to 3 weeks. Recurrences of episcleritis are common and they usually tend to occur in bouts. Episcleritis periodica is a fleeting type of episcleritis, that is, episcleritis periodica lasts for a very short duration. What are the differential diagnoses of episcleritis? Simple episcleritis can be confused with conjunctivitis. Nodular episcleritis can be confused with an inflamed pingicula, swelling and congestion due to foreign body lodged in bulbar conjunctiva, and scleritis. How do you treat a case of episcleritis? Topical NSAIDs like Ketorolac 0.3% can be given. Topical mild corticosteroid eye drops like Fluoromethylone or Lotiprednol instilled 2 to 3 hourly can be done. Topical artificial tears like 0.5% carboxymethyl cellulose can be given. Cold compress can be advised. Systemic NSAIDs like Fluorbiprofen or Indomethacin can be given in recurrent cases. Thank you.